Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in into another video. Today I'm going to show you all how to make some buffalo barbecue bites. And these are perfect for any type of party. It can be eaten as an appetizer, even as its own entree. So it's really simple. Hope you all check out this recipe. Please, please try it out and tell me how it goes. So these are our ingredients for today. You're going to need to rinse and cut some cauliflower to bite-sized pieces. Also, just choose any barbecue or hot sauce to your liking. Of course, remember to check the label and make sure it's vegan. Now let's prep the baking tray. Just line it with some foil and spray it evenly with some oil. For the breading, we're going to coat some cauliflower in some cornstarch lightly. And then we're gonna dip it into a liquid mixture that is one to three cornstarch to water. We're gonna finish it off with some breadcrumbs. Make sure you coat it generously and evenly with some breadcrumbs to ensure a crunch. This process took me around 25 minutes by myself, so if you have a friend, have them tag along. It makes life easier. At this point, you also want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees so that it's ready to go once you're done with this process. Now that all the cauliflower bites are breaded, we're going to spray everything evenly with some oil. And then we're going to put it into a 400 degree oven for around 30 minutes or until it's golden and crispy to your liking. If you really want to retain their crispiness, I recommend that when you plate it, just plate it as is with the sauces on the side as dipping sauces. You can also toss it into the barbecue sauce or the hot sauce like I did here. So this is the finished product. As you all can see, it looks so pretty and so delicious. I cannot wait to taste it. I'm going to start with this one. Buffalo hot one, hot sauce one. Dip it. Mm -hmm. Barbecue one. So good. You don't have to follow exactly how I made it, but the idea. Just pretty much use battered cauliflower and bake it until it's crisp and firm and just toss it with sauce and it tastes super super yummy. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next